So once again, Serena Gulliver makes the walk from the players' practice area onto the lakeside stage for an 11th final appearance in 11 Women's World Championship finals. And as it was 12 months ago, following her onto the stage, Rhianne Edwards from Wales, unseeded. But after knocking out Julie Gore, the number three seed, and Dieter Hedman, the number two seed, has the scent of another scalp here tonight. If Rianne Edwards plays as well as she did in her semi-final, then Trina Gulliver will have to work mighty hard to defend her title. Difficult to overstate the achievement, though, reaching 11 finals out of 11. The Golden Girl feels she owns that stage, but Rianne Edwards is a doughty competitor. And for the last time in the last 12 months, Trina Gulliver owns the trophy. We finished the practice darts. It's now up for grabs. First set, first round. It's Rianne to throw first. Very best of all, please. Game on. And Rianne Edwards quickly away. And quickly into the groove as she bids to first and foremost make amends for the 2-0 drubbing she suffered at the hands of Trina Gulliver in 2010. 121! And Gulliver bids for a ninth world title. 60. She won the first seven in a row. Then lost two finals in a row, but reclaimed her crown in emphatic style last year. And I mentioned Rianne Edwards, impressive, in dispatching Dieter Hedman in the semi-finals. Gulliver's only dropped two legs so far. You look back through history as well. 16. In the 11 World Championships we've had for the ladies so far, Trina Gulliver has dropped a grand total of 10 sets in those World Championships. And four of those sets came, of course, in the finals defeats to Anastasia Dobrin-Maslova and Francis Honsela which she beat five times to win a world title, but ten sets in 11 lakesides dropped. It's, it's such an amazing record. 26. Six unusually loose starts, three from each player just then.
doing this, she says, for her mum, Muriel, who normally sits right at the back of the hall, but is back home in Southam, watching tonight. 145! Back home in Wales, Rianne's son, Sian. Three and a half years of age, crying when he watched his mum win a match on Sunday. Sure, he'd be crying with delight if Mummy could be champion tonight. Forty-two. One seventy-two, of course, not an out shot. One seventy is the biggest one, but another treble and a single would help. 81. Super woman watches two super women. Double 16. 36. So the first chance not taken. And Gulliver has been a little wayward in this opening leg. And that 25 she was going for is a bit elusive. 84 left, treble 20, leaves double 12. So Rihanna Edwards will have another chance here. Yet to score over 100, Trina Gulliver. Rihanna require 32. Yes, that's getting shot on the first leg. Rihanna Edwards. Except for the 1-2-1. One, one. Second leg, Trina ago. to throw first. Game on. Rihanna Edwards holds her throw. She says she's feeling a lot less nerves than last year. That will help settle those nerves. And watching there, Trina Gulliver slipping once again into the adjacent bed, away from the twenties. Will actually increase her confidence. 100. Still a good score from Gulliver, but it's not dead straight accurate. Neither's that. Neither's that. Thirty-six. Sixty. Having beaten Irina Armstrong in her semi-final, Trina Gulliver admitted she does sometimes find it hard to maintain her motivation. Sixty. Such is the price of extraordinary success. Motivation, not just the title again, but an increased prize money, £10,000 up for grabs and that trophy in the background as well. I think having the trophy by the side of the stage might just give Trina Gulliver the motivation she's looking for. 16. This is the. Uh, she goes for a 1 4 2 for her first leg of the match. This is the 11th time she will have spied that trophy out of her right eye as she stands on that hockey. And their partner suit on the right. 98. Watching on with Nick Rolls' partner. Joe, Nick Rolls, one of our referees this week. 16. Trina Clark, 44. So 12 for double 16 or 4 for double top? 4 for double top for Trina Gulliver. No. Five. Well, another example of a wayward dart, and it was snatched quite drastically and dramatically into the single one bed. As Martin. Brian's fiance shakes his head. Trina Gulliver will step up for single seven, double sixteen. She much prefers the double sixteen. Yes, that's game shot. And levels it up. Trina Gulliver. Could have gone for a last time, of course. I did finish four double top. Game on. Zidedown, Masters champion, 
British Open champion. Just two of the trophies Trina's won in 2010. 100! And there, her daughter Paige shouting out on the left-hand side. Her other daughter Elaine back in the bath arms in Cheddar working tonight. 100.